Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining this virtual presentation session. This is Feng Yuan Zhu, and I'm so sorry that we cannot meet each other in the beautiful Hawaii. So I will ring this beautiful flower rings. Hope it can give you some feelings about we are actually meeting there. So today I will introduce our work by share exploring bidirectional interactions between smartphones and head-mounted augmented reality. This work was done by me and my supervisor, Toby Grossman, and we came from University of Toronto. To start, let's see a video together. So I drag in a car model from my phone to the top. My AI HMD helped me to render the car together with the extended screen for more information. After that, I drag in the car model to the spatial environment and using my phone to adjust its orientation. After reviewing multiple objects, I use my phone shooting a laser. By combining a downward flick, I downloaded the model from the spatial back to my phone. For recent years, AR HMDs evolved a lot. We believe there are rich opportunities afforded by using AR HMDs together with smartphones to create better experience in people's daily life. There are actually a number of research efforts have begun to explore the cross-device opportunities arising from using a mobile device and AI HMD together. But if we look in them deeper, we will find that most of existing works are only designed in a single way. Either can be classified as phone-centric tasks, such as extending the phone screens with the AR glass, or HMD-centric view, which using the mobile phone as a luxury controller for the HMD input. Little work has actually been dedicated to creating a coherent bidirectional platform where both of these interaction paradigms are enabled. So our work here is trying to explore such a coherent bidirectional design pattern to support the cross-device interactions between smartphones and AR HMDs. To do so, we first make a capability analysis for each site. We comparing the smartphones and the AR HMDs with their input and output capabilities to figure out the contrast and the complementing property of them. This is our results. At the first glance, you will find that many of the properties are complementing one another. For instance, the phone can provide precise, familiar, tangible input and uh, render high-resolution displays which the current AR HMD is difficult to make. The AR HMD can provide better spatial interactions and render spatially, which is difficult for the mobile device to do. After capability analysis, by combining findings from existing works, we conclude several design principles. First of all, instead of doing single direction interaction, we believe that supporting continuous bidirectional interaction is very essential to provide more opportunities for better experience. Another important principle is to utilize the phone for detailed and precise interactions and utilize the AR HMD for spatial interaction, which is based on the properties of capabilities. Perceiving known interaction patterns refers to taking usage of what the users are already familiar with. This effect is also known as legacy bias. Last, combining a smartphone with an AR HMD gives rise to a novel continuum of digital display spaces, which ranges from fully 2D to fully spatial. For more details, please refer to our paper. Now let's continue to the most exciting part, our design space. We name our design space BiShare, which is an abbreviation from bidirectional interactions between smartphones and head-mounted augmented reality. Our design space is organized in a 2x6 form, and here you can find that each column refers to a certain categories, and the row here represents the different task-centric view. Here we also using the color code to distinguish the content and event in each side. The orange here refers to the content and the operations happening in the mobile device, and the blue color here refers to the content and operations happen spatially. Based on the above design space, 
We synthesize prior works and compile their coverage of each element of the design. We are happy to find each individual element was explored before, but notably, you can find most of the rows only have one color. Which means that existing work are mostly in a single directional design and also showing the potential opportunities of making joint interactions in a bidirectional way. To address this gap in the research literature and to better evaluate our design space, we developed an interactive system which supports the joint interaction with different functionality modes. People can manipulate 3D models. editing 3D tags, and doing group select, and manipulating multiple objects at once. For the configuration side, we use a Google Pixel 2 together with Microsoft HoloLens as our primary hardware and use the Wicom system for external checking. Please see our paper for more details. Now let's examine each component of our design space with examples. Distributed input relates to the class of techniques for which one platform is used to provide input for the other. In a phone-centric view, user can use a spatial gesture to scroll a website so that their content won't be occluded. In an AR HMD centric view, users can use the touch screen from the phone to manipulate objects in a more accurate adjustment. Distributed UI represents the concept of placing virtual interactive widgets on one platform that are used to manipulate content or interactions on the other platform. For instance, the HMD can provide extra UI components like those arrows for the user to manipulate objects on the phone. Conversely, the UI elements on the mobile device can support detailed operations like typing and changing styles for 3D words. Distributed display represents techniques where the platforms are joined to extend their respective display spaces. In a phone-centric view, when viewing a model on the phone, the surrounding areas can be used as an extending screen area for additional information and also in 3D. In an HMD-centric view, by tilting the phone, user can use the phone as a proxy display to see and manipulate multiple objects. Content transfer relates to the ability to transfer content between modalities. In a phone-centric view, Users can quickly transfer 3D objects from phone to the surrounding environment. Reversely, users can transfer 3D content from the environment back to the phone. Cross-device gestures combines freehand gestures, local touch events, and the controller-based input events to create a new gesture that incorporate both input platforms. For example, by combining an upward flick with a spatial controller laser pointer, users can transfer the font from the phone to the spatial 3D text. Similarly, by combining a downward flick with the laser pointer, user can download the spatial content back to the phone. Finally, Tangible interactions are the class of techniques which leverage the phone as a spatial tangible input device. In a phone-centric context, holding the phone flat creates a virtual shelf to display a spring-loaded preview of the 3D content. In an AR-centric view, the phone can be used to knock on nearby models, which can transfer them back to the preview area or by fitting the phone to the 3D object like a flashlight, the virtual light from the screen will render objects as a wireframe. As a summary, our system supports interactions within each element of this design space under both phone-centric and HMD-centric test context. Please refer to our paper for more details. To better evaluate our work, we ran a user evaluation to gather initial feedbacks. 
We invited 12 users to participate our evaluation. We first guide them to go through each element within our system and then asking them to make a high-level self-creation tag. A questionnaire together with the existing interview will be provided after the user finishes their tasks. For more details, please refer to our appendix and paper. All the participants can finish the final task individually. Here you can see how they created in their final tasks. Feedbacks from the questionnaire is overall positive. Please notice that users raise phone centric and HMD centric almost equally, which enhance our confidence of providing bidirectional interactions instead of only in a one single direction. From the interview, we are happy to find that many participants are engaged with a combination of phone and AR HMDs. For participants who are not so familiar with AR HMDs, some of them are happily reported that mobile phone provided a familiar interaction and making them feel easier to manipulate spatial objects. We are also happy to find many participants enjoying the content transfer in both directions instead of a single way. Now let's talk about our future works. The first thing we can do is to explore other device capabilities. We are only adapted spatial tracking, limited gestures and touch events in our explorations. Other capabilities like voice input, environment understanding and gestures can be explored in future. In the technical implementation aspect, we hope we can use Mockery's tracking and a better software in future to better understand the daily use of the joint interactions. And with the better technical implementations, in future we are also planning to evaluate these joint interaction ideas in people's daily life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry we cannot provide a real-time QA session for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask him via the email or just a comment on this YouTube video. Thank you so much.